Hello, everyone. This is Mr. Kissinger with the Citizenship Academy in Syracuse, New York. Uh, today, we are doing fifth grade math module two, uh, lessons 17 and 18. Um, our page here just says 17, but they both uh, involve using basic facts to approximate quotients with two digit divisors. So we're going to put them into one, uh, one video here. Um, when we see the word approximate, that should let us know. Um, that means we're going to be rounding. Um, so we're going to be uh, finding not exact quotients, but approximate quotients to help us uh, come up with reasonable estimates uh, for division problems. So if we look here, um, we kind of put together some problems from uh, Lesson 17 and then some from uh, lesson 18. The eight, lesson 18 ones are just deal with a little bit larger uh, numbers in our uh, dividend. Um, what we want to do, if you look at this one that says letter G up here, is the first number that we want to uh, round or want to approximate is our divisor. In this case, it would be 81. So the number that we're dividing by. Um, that's going to help us get a better idea for how we want to round our uh, dividend, which is typically our larger number. Um, 81 is really close to 80. So now that I have 80, I'm going to look at 656. And I want to find a number that's going to go, that 80 will go evenly into. Um, so I want to find factors of 8. Um, that's going to help me. Uh, that's going to help me figure out what I want to round my dividend to. So near six six hundred fifty. Well, sixty five. Um, eight doesn't really go into sixty five. That's not a factor of eight. But sixty four um, is eight times eight. So I'm going to change this to six hundred forty. That's really close to six fifty six. Now I can do six hundred forty divided by eighty. Uh, but I'm going to add an extra step here that they didn't uh, give us a spot for. So I'm just going to do it off to the side. Um, instead of doing 640 divided by 80, uh, you may know the answer, but to make it even easier for us, we can do 640 divided by 10 and then divided by 8. So 640 divided by 10 is just 64. And then 64 divided by 8 is 8. So 640 divided by 80 is 8. If we look at the one next to it here, we have 799 divided by 99. Now, this, this one kind of brings up a good point. You can do these problems in, uh, in different ways and get a, get a correct answer because we're estimating. Your estimate might be different than my estimate. Um, so for me, I, I would say, I would think, well, I'm going to round to um, 99. I would round to 100. And then a hundred, and then I might round seven hundred ninety nine to eight hundred, and I know that eight hundred divided by a hundred. Um, we learned that in a previous lesson how to divide by a hundred, so I might just know that trick, and I know that, that would be eight. But the other the other way that I could um, approximate this is I could do well. I need to find a factor of nine that's close to seven hundred ninety nine. Well, I know that. 81 is a factor of 9, so 810 would be a uh, factor of um, 90. So in, so I'm, I'm going to take 99, I'm going to round down to 90, and I'll take my uh, 799, I'm going to round up to 810. Um, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to take 810 divided by 10 divided by 9, and then I get 81 divided by 9, and 81 divided by 9 is 9. So here I might have got the answer 8, but here I, might have, I would get the answer 9. Um, we're still pretty close. Both of those would be reasonable estimates. If we look at letter I, 635 divided by 95. Well, we'll do this one the other way this time. So 95, um, let's round that to 100, because I, I know that I like to... Uh, divide by 100 it makes it makes life easier on us to uh, divide by powers of 10. So my 630, 635, um, maybe I'll just uh, round that to 600. Just to make things easy. So I know 600 divided by 100 equals 6. So there's more than one way to, to, um, to round. I mean, if you, 
you could have rounded 95 to 90 and then you could round 635 to 630 um, and you would get uh, you would get seven. So you know you may not get the same exact exact answer, but again, we're only off by one. Um, so as you're doing these, uh, you're going to see some of the questions. If it's a multiple choice um, question, like on, on the exit ticket, I know there's a question that, that'll say, "What? Which? Which is a reasonable estimate?" So your reasonable estimate, there won't be one answer that's six and one that's seven. It might be um, sixty, and then you might have one that's seven, um, for example. So you know that those those two numbers aren't close to each other. Um, only one would be a reasonable estimate. Um, if I ask you to write your own, there'll be a margin for error. You know, if you um, if you write within a within a specific range of numbers, um, you would get the answer correct. So just keep that in mind as you're estimating. Um, if we'll do one more on this this uh, set, and then we're going to move down to uh, these less than eighteen ones down here that are a little bit more challenging. So three hundred eleven divided by seventy six. Let's let's round seventy six to uh, eighty because seventy six is only four away. It's really close to eighty. Um, and then I need around 311 to something that um, would be a factor of 80 or a factor of eight. Um, I know three. I know 32 is a factor of eight, so 320 would be a factor of eight. See so yeah, we have the 32 here, and then we have our zero. Um, so 32 is a factor of eight. It's also a factor of 80. We can do 320. Divided by 10, divided by 8. Um, so we get 32 when we divide by 10, and then we divide our 32 by 8, and we get 4. All right. So let's look at this lesson 18, letter G here. Um, we have 4,901 divided by 75. So the first thing I need to do is I need to round my divisor. I'm going to uh, round 75. Um, let's round 75 to uh, 70. We could just as easily um, round to 80. Uh, when, if we were rounding 75 to the nearest 10, we would go to 80. Um, but we'll, we'll do 70 first, and then we'll see what it would look like if we went to 80. Um, the only reason I went, I went to 70 is I kind of looked ahead and I looked at my, my other number here and 40, uh, 4,901 is really close to 4,900 4, and 4,900, I know because it's, it's a 49 followed by two zeros. Um, and I have a seven followed by a zero and I know seven, um, goes into 49. Uh, so if I do... 49, or, or, or 4,900, and then divided by 10, divided by 7. Well, if I divide by 10, I get 490. 49 divided by 7 is 7, and then I have to add my 0, and I get 70. Now, if I change this 75 to 80 instead, well, then I wouldn't choose 4,900. Um, I would have to choose a different number. So if I, if I were to do, if I needed a multiple of 8 instead, I might go, okay, well, 8 times 5 is 35. 8 times 6 is 48. Oh, 48 is really, clo really close to, um, or 4,800 is really close to 4,900, 4,901. Um, so that I would probably go to 48 and then I would get the, my answer would end up being 60 instead of 70. Again, it'd be really close. Um, either one of those answers would be acceptable. Um, let's look at letter H. We have 8,515 divided by 81. Um, 81 is close to 80. So I'll, I'll go to 80 with that one. Um, and then I have 8,515. Um, I could round that all the way down to 8,000 if I wanted to. I could get a close enough, uh, close enough estimation. I know 8,000 divided by 80, it would be 8,000 divided by 10, um, which would give me 800. And then I would divide by 8 and I would get 100. Um, but I could also get a, get a little bit closer instead of, um, 
rounding that to 8,000, I could round to 8,800 because I know 88 is a multiple of 8. Um, and then I would take 8,800, divide that by 10, divide it by 8. Um, I'd get 880 divided by 8. Well, I know that 8 goes into 88 11 times, and then I need to add my 0. And I would get 110. So in one case, I would get 100. And in another case, I would get 110. Um, both are pretty uh, close estimates when you're talking about dividing um, numbers that are in the in the into the thousands into four you know four place values. Um, so we'll do, let's do one more. Um, we'll do let's do letter M down here. So we have 5,397 divided by 94. Well, anytime I have a number like 94 that's close to 100, I like to round to 100. So I'll round that to 100. Um, and then I can round 5,397. Well, that's only three away from 5,400. And I know if I have this 100 at the end, I do 5,400. I can move those place values over two to the right, my decimal point in turn moves two spots to the left, and I end up with 54. All right, um, so that's it for lessons uh, 17 and 18. Uh, I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day, and look forward to seeing you guys next time.